So, um, I was just making a video around how to use a honing guide in order to sharpen your uh, chisels. And one of the questions that may come up, of course, especially if you're new to woodworking like I am, is, uh, well, what angle is actually already on my chisel? Because if I have a lot of choices in terms of the angle that I use, um, I maybe when I'm starting out want to use something close to what's on here because I don't know any better and I don't know what I should have uh, yet on my uh, on my chisels. Um, so a little bit of trigonometry and a caliper makes it very easy to figure this out. Um, basically, if we think of this as being a picture of the chisel here, um, we can use calipers to measure some things pretty easily. And then if you remember from geometry what a right triangle is, we can just imagine that this end here where the bevel is, is a right triangle. Um, so by measuring the thickness one and by measuring the the length of the bevel two, um, then we can calculate what this angle is here. Um, and um, the the rule for this, the, um, the uh, what do they call it? Uh, the mnemonic or, or whatever that they use <clears throat> is, uh, they say Sakatoa, <laughs> um, like the Indian guide or something. Sakatoa, and what this means is that um, if you're talking about a right triangle, oh, that's pretty ugly, but uh, remember the, the side opposite the right angle, the 90 degree angle, is the hypotenuse. And that's H, or the H up here. And so the rule is uh, for SOH means sine of the angle, whatever angle we're interested in, is equal to um, the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So if I want this angle here, then the opposite side is this one and the hypotenuse is here. Okay, and ka is cosine of the angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I want this angle, this is my adjacent, uh, and that's the hypotenuse. So the length of this side over this side is equal to sine of this angle. And toa is tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. So if you think, here's my angle, here's the corner I'm interested in. That's opposite side, that's the adjacent side to my angle. And the hypotenuse is always the one opposite the side over there. So a little bit of really basic trigonometry. That's what we're going to use to calculate uh, um, what the angle is here. Um, the little star thing I drew in the corner. So in this case, uh, if I'm measuring one and two, then this is going to be my opposite and this is going to be the hypotenuse. So I'm going to use this one. So sine of my angle here, which I drew as a star, sine of my angle is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Those are the two things we're gonna measure. And which means that my angle is equal to the inverse of sine or arc sine of the opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, boring, boring, boring. Let's just measure some stuff and actually do the calculation and then you'll see how this works. So for measurement number one, I've got my little digital caliper here and I'm just gonna go ahead and get the size of the thickness. And I got 3.57, so that's that guy, and then I'm gonna try and eyeball the length of the bevel now. And I've got 8.49. So 3.57 over 8.49. is 0 0.42, 42, and so sine of the angle is equal to 0 0.42, but we wanna get the actual angle, so we need to do the inverse sine, right? So that gets rid of the sine here. Uh, inverse sine sometimes is written as sine minus one. It can also be written as arc sine, A-R-C sine. So now if I just, go and do that guy, then I get 
0.6 degrees. If you're using a calculator, make sure it's in degree mode, not in radian mode. Um, so you get so you get your degrees out. And there you go. So this chisel basically comes with, obviously my measurements aren't perfect, but comes with something right around a 25 uh, degree angle. Um, pretty simple, a lot of explanation, but uh, there you go, a useful application in the real world of trigonometry. Thanks.